take a yoga strap, you fold it up, you come forward, you place the strap behind your knees, and you sit back. I'm Krista Rippins with IntelligentBody.net. And we're doing a series to release tension in the leg muscles to help the knees. When you come forward and you tuck the toes, here's a key moment. Push your knees back and you sit up again. There's a lot of layers to this and it's important to determine the amount of thickness that you're comfortable with. In the beginning, just this thickness was really intense on my leg muscles and my knees. Now, I've been practicing this at least five days a week for about six months, and now I can wrap up the whole strap into about this length and go back and forth the way I'm showing you. It's a process, don't rush. Then I come forward, I move the strap back just a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch or so, and I sit back again. So I'm softening the tissues of the lower leg and also the hamstrings coming into the knees. If coming forward onto your head seems like you would fall onto your head instead of roll forward, which is what we all do when we're learning it, then use a bolster or a pillow, bring your head down, hold the strap as you tuck the toes, and sit back up. While I'm here, breathe, soften the jaw and the tongue, I use the heels of my hands to soften my quad muscles, also muscles that connect into the knees. Basically, the softer our muscle tissue is, the more available it is for strengthening and the better we'll feel. So we come forward, point the toes and move the straps back just a little bit. And the same thing, I breathe, I soften. To be totally honest, this can be really, really, really intense. However, I feel that it is the intensity and the willingness to go into the deep layers of muscle that shifts my relationship with my body and softens the tissues and has made my knees feel better and younger than they have felt in quite a few. If it takes pain to get away from pain, it seems to be the way it is. So after I do this flow quite a number of times, to be, once again, practice honesty, I probably do it for 20 minutes. I keep thickening the, the strap as I go, and as I get down the calves, I'll come back into a little bit of a squat which stretches and opens up the tissues going down into the feet. And I keep going back and forth. So this is the flow. You point the toes back, up the toes under, massage the quads. If you feel up for it, you come into the squat and breathe. I, sometimes I bring my knees wide and breathe. Sometimes I bring them forward, and after I go as far down the calf as I can go, I start moving back up. So I go up little bit by little bit. I go all the way up to the top, and I end there. And then I put the legs out in front, tighten the thigh muscles, breathe, 